hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so in this video uh, i'll explain again i'll explain how we can execute the command command and queries in remote multiple remote servers so what we have to configure where we have to configure this is the second second video on the same topic but in my last to last video i have already explained how we can configure but that was the some different way how we can do that but in this we will see uh, uh, another way how we can configure it so we'll see in this video okay so before i started i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical please do subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification so and also if you have any query any suggestion related to the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video what we have to configure and where we have to configure so for example this is the my uh, my jenkins where we have to go first go into uh, go to the jenkins and inside the jenkins there will be a manage plugin inside the manage plugin you have to install uh, one plugin that calls easy something I'll uh, just check SSH no, it's not working SSH okay I'll tell you I, I just forgot what the name of that particular okay so this is the plugin SSH to easy plugin you have to install this plugin because I, ha I have already installed it is coming into the install section if you have not installed yet so just install from ssh uh, sorry available inside the available just type ssh2 ssh2 that you will get the that plugin so i have already installed that comes into my install section so i have already installed just install it from your ends as well okay so what we have to do after this after this installing this just go to the manage jenkins inside the manage jenkins the first option configure system so when you will open this option configure system inside this you will get the option here sorry it is here where it's gone oh i'll just show you where it is is the ssh configuration okay so it is here you can see it see this it is here only ssh site ssh oh, sorry the server group center sgc so inside of this you have to configure first just create a group list so i'm just creating a group list as a uh, deepak okay the port number on which port username i'll just put deepak the password what password you are just uh, trying to give it for this so just put that and inside the server list this is a group so by group uh, helping of the group so you will see in this what we have to do do the apply and save this okay again go to the configure uh, sorry manage jenkins inside the manage jenkins again configure system so here i have a configure system so i have a created a group one group list you can create multiple group list and now you have to configure like you have to put the detail under the server list so inside the server list now you can see i have created a group that name as a deepak so it is coming group name as a deepak if you have multiple groups so that will come inside of this this is helping like uh, how many uh, ports you are using and by which user that particular server will be connected so it can be a possible like uh, in some of the servers username password could be a different and some of the server there could be uh, some different so we can do all these things uh, like creating a ser uh, server group yeah server group so here what it is asking server name i'll just put as a jenkins so this is for the testing purpose so i have created this for uh, the jenkins i'm just showing it uh, doing whatever command i'll execute i'll show in this only and it is asking for server ip so it is server ip 52.201219 and 73 so here i would like to say just uh, once confirm these ip uh, whatever server ip you are giving that ip need to be telnet from your jenkins just configure like on a which port you want to just telnet that so you can do that using telnet command telnet ip address and the port number if it is 22 so leave it as it is 
and if you have some other port if you are running it some other pro port so you can just put it here so here I have given the details this detail server group I have created and then server list I have created so inside the server list you can add multiple of the servers here so what I'll do I'll go ahead and I'll apply and save after this what do you have to do after this just go to your uh, if you have any if you want to create any new build or project so in that you have to configure but previously I have uh, created a new item that called test so inside the test I'll just configure this okay so after opening that I'll go to the configure section so I'll go into this okay here <coughs> so I'll just delete this this is was the first method like we have installed that so here again into the build section you will get the option for execute cell uh, so here you can also use the execute cell script on remote host using SSH so I'm just using this SSH site no 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 not this one sorry okay I'll just check what it is oh sorry again it's coming clicking somewhere else sorry for that just execute cell is it working no no this will also not no 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 not this one okay so here is the option remote shell so inside the remote you can see is a target server target server it's Deepak the uh, server server group Jenkins the name of the server and IP address here what command you want to execute I just want to execute DFH I just want to execute sudo sorry dfh sudo yum install what package I need to be install yum install yum install any packages name we can put it here so I'm just going to install Linux I can see here I, I just want to see this like Linux was not there if I have run execute that command so Linux was not there so I'll just L Y N X this this command this utility I just want to install in this so I've just given these two I'll just apply I'll just save this okay so I'll take the access first so here I have to take the okay it is already running so do I see okay I'll so do I'll do this okay no problem so someone trying to take the login of my server someone trying to hack the server maybe there you can see there was 92 failed login attempts but right now after five six days ago I, I like in last six days I didn't take any any time none of the time I didn't take the access I never tried to take the access but it is saying like 92 failed okay no problem if you know my password then only you can execute Oh, sorry you can take the access so let's see P sorry our pm uh, pm hyphen qa pipe crap linux so there is no command like it is not installed that package is not installed yet so i have just saved this okay after saving this just i'll just execute this build so I have schedule I have run this build and I'll go to this okay so here something problem maybe so we'll check what problem it is so it is saying SSS version failed with IP this port this username this and password this so there can be a problem error fail so we'll check what can be issue so maybe I have put it a wrong password so I'll have just check I'll just correct that password maybe it can be I have put it wrong password <coughs> sorry okay so I'll change again the password so again I'll apply save and I'll go to execute this build from here okay we'll see what's going on here still progress Oh, here from here still going on okay so it is get connected you can see here and df df-h that commands output is in below side 
and now it is running yum install linux so which is working on so it can be take a little bit time to install uh, install that packages you will get that log also in here the console output every log what it is going on so you will get all these things so so it was my video hope so you like my video this information is uh, usable for yourself so please do like my videos and please also do subscribe my youtube channel so this is what thank you thank you for watching my video